Hi all, I thought we could have a look at some of the very entertaining Blitz games from the recent FIDE World Blitz Championship. Uh, this is one of the games of Magnus Carlsen against Marin Boziosic. Uh, excuse the pronunciation. Uh, so Magnus Carlsen playing with the black pieces. Uh, some fun Blitz quotations for you before I begin. Um, yes, I have played the Blitz game once. It was on a train in 1929. That's a chess quote by Mikhail Botvinnik. So apparently he wasn't the greatest Blitz enthusiast. He who analyzes Blitz is stupid. That's a quote by Rashid Nazmetanov. Okay, I'm pretty stupid a lot of the time. <laughs> Blitz chess kills your ideas. That's by Bobby Fischer. Uh, Karpov said, like dogs who sniff each other when meeting, chess players have a ritual at first acquaintance. They sit down to play speed chess. <laughs> yeah, some funny ones there. Anyway, so E4 from Marin. Magnus plays the Sicilian defence. And actually we go into the uh, Sveshnikov, in particular the anti-Sveshnikov, as it used to be known. So I was playing the Sveshnikov uh, when it was quite popular. And this system, first it started with Paul Georgiou. And then for some reason, grandmasters must have seen Paul Georgiou's games. And they started copying him. And it became all the rage. And now it's even in the World Chess Championship. So I blame Paul for this move. Yes, he's the one that introduced it. So we have g6. Bishop takes c6. D takes. D3. Bishop g7. H3. Paul just wanted a way of keeping the game positional because he knew I liked tactics. And now this, this system's all the rage. So how does Magnus play with the black pieces? Knight f6, knight c3, knight d7, so protecting e, uh, c5 in advance and allowing for e5 to lock down the d4 square. Bishop e3, and now the lockdown of that d4 square. Queen d2, and now black doesn't want to castle routinely because bishop h6 might be annoying. We have h6, white castles queenside. b6, which frees the knight up to move now. h4, knight f8, very elegant stuff because black, actually black wants to castle queenside sometimes. h5, g5, this seems to be closing the kingside anyway. Knight e2, but there are light squares potentially to, which are vulnerable. Knight e6, knight g3. Knight f4, which is hitting that g2 pawn, and white passively retreats a knight. Yes, it's no good to play knight f5. That can just be taken, and knight takes g2 without any punishment at all here. So black's just better there. So knight e1. Uh, now we have bishop e6, uh, which hits the a2 pawn. That's protected. Queen d7, which prepares casting queenside. Knight f1, which seems to contain uh, a subtle threat, but which is ignored by uh, Magnus, who just casually castles queenside. And now white may have been looking forward to this, g3, but actually Magnus just ignores it. it the knight's kind of trapped anyway, can't move anyway, but f5, just ignoring the whole thing. <laughs> Amazing. It's because the bishop would be trapped after. So if, for example, taking here, e takes, opens up that bishop, and wins material here. And what's worse, after f takes the pin pawn, after queen takes, for example, bishop d5. So this position is not very nice for white at all. So it's not advisable to uh, to take this knight. So we have f3. But now f takes, d takes, and now queen f7, which hits a2 and hits the queen. And in fact, now after queen c1, uh, well, what else? If queen f2, that just leaves the rook hanging. Rook takes, and then bishop takes, and then mate. So uh, we have queen c1, but black to play here. I wonder if you can spot this move, which defeats a grandmaster at this blitz. Time control in record time. This is the final move of the game. Black to play, five seconds. Can you spot it? Okay, you're about to be a grandmaster with this move if you've played it. Knight e2, yes, it's really unfortunate placement of all of White's pieces, most of them on the first row here, apart from the bishop. Uh, the game ended here. For example, rook takes, rook takes, the queen has nowhere to go. Uh, so if queen d2, we just take it off. So yeah, a fun contrast from all the engine games we're looking at recently. The world of blitz chess, very understandable, blunders, etc. Uh, bit of fun. 
Uh, Magnus did dominate the event, so I've got a few more fun, funny ones to share. Uh, let's face it, Blitz Chess is to many people, including me, is addictive and a waste of time, but it's addictive and entertainment. Okay, we need to find some way to pass the time, don't we? So if you enjoyed this game video, please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net. Play against other YouTubers. You can even have uh, very slow time controls, one one day move or one day every every five days if you want, by the way. <laughs> you can also check the uh, YouTube analysis in advance of these games from the improved menu you learn from the Masters YouTube order button. Comments, questions, that I should see the description. Like, share, subscribe with a no notification bell appreciated. Also check out the new Teespring store in the description. Thanks very much.